Veganuary, dry January, giving up new clothes for January, giving up sex, no masturbation January. How about, no. How about tonight I have four steaks on top of each other with cheese melted on top of them, drinking a pint of wine whilst knocking one out into a jester's hat. How about that, you worry, January? This is not one, if you're like me, if you're struggling after a year of giving up loads of things you freaking care about, like seeing family or touching the hand of another human being, why not try what I'm going to do this January, which is to try and fatten my liver so I look like a goose that's about to be slaughtered for foie gras. We ain't giving up top, we're all going to have to give up everything else. If you're watching this and you are British, remember, you are not programmed for this. Locked deep within you is the horrific British curse of nothing, lots. Go without, do too much. Detox all spring, go to Reading and Leeds Festival, overdose St John's Ambulance. That is the British pattern. That is what you curse yourself to if you starve yourself in January. By all means, take better care of yourself. Chuck out a few sit-ups, maybe have one glass of wine, not two. But if you go without completely, you're gonna end up in a Sambuca bukkake party off your head on ketamine, milking a horse into your friend's mouth. You know that's how it's gonna end. How about existential annuary, where we give up being human until March? That's what we're gonna be doing anyway. So I say no to giving things up. I say, and also the whole fake thing of I'm gonna stop something just for one month and it will change my lifestyle. It doesn't work for me, I'm sure it works for some. In fact, the statistics suggest it works for a lot of people. But for most of us, if I give up something for January, I explode in an absolute volcano of consumption in February. I'm gonna do no masturbation January. I will probably winch the bell end off the end of it. I'll probably fracture the radial bone of my forearm cranking one out if I try to do that. How about moderation year long for a new movement? Anyway, don't give anything up. If you get to the end of tonight, and go, I'm supposed to be doing Jai January, but my child who's supposed to be at school is 12 and has just vomited monster munch into my face after calling me a wanker and saying she wishes she'd never been born. Also, I, having murderous thoughts about my husband, I feel like I'm gonna cave his head in when chili planting season begins. If you're feeling that way, how, here's this for a suggestion. Have a glass of wine and uh, probably match it with a steak as well. Here's something for you to give up. Here's something for you to give up this January. Giving up, giving up. Soaking wet January up yours to the do good as the saying dry January. Dry January. Dripping wet January. Moist January. Dripping in meat juices. Why? Because I'm locked in my house most of the time. <laughs> uh, uh.